how do one identify the voice of God? Very good question. Now he's asking, how does somebody identify the voice of God? The primary way, I will take it up from different angles, but the primary way God speaks to us is through his word. The word of the Lord, the Bible. That is every time you are reading the Bible, God is speaking to you. Okay? But sometimes you are reading the story of uh, Samson and Delilah. What is, is well, you are not hearing any voice. Uh, so maybe you now need to make a decision. Should I do science? Should I do arts? Right? And you want God to speak to you. When you are reading your Bible, do you see that in your Bible? I think those are the kind of things you are, you are talking about. Okay. Good. So there is what they call inner witness. So when we become Christians, we receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. So when you have the Holy Spirit inside of you, it's, he, that is one of the key ways God speaks to you. It's like you just know that this is what you should do. It, it, it impresses it upon your heart. Sometimes it seems as if you are thinking. Some of it like, I'm thinking I should do that. It will, it will appear to you like thoughts. I know some people say they hear the audible voice of God. My soul. How many of you have heard it? How many of you have heard God's audible? You've heard it, right? Some people have it. My soul. Rise up. The primary way God speaks is through the, through the, the Bible. He gives us the big framework. The Bible is like what you used to cross check. Whatever. So God will impress something on your heart. Right? You will impress it upon your heart. It will seem like a thought. And also, when Satan wants to speak to you, he, that's how he speaks. You, you think you are thinking. You are not actually thinking. Some of those thoughts, Satan will engineer it. Then you start thinking. You think you are the one thinking. So, so the same way Satan sends thoughts to you, suggestions to you, eh? God also sends suggestions to you. But it will appear as if it's happening in your mind. The mind is the battlefield. Somebody say, the mind wow. is the battlefield. So Satan will speak to you through the mind and God will speak, through, Holy Spirit will speak to you through your mind. Right? So how will I know this is the voice of God and this is the voice of Satan? So imagine I start thinking, just listen to this. Huh? This girl, she's fine. Oh. How would it be to kiss this girl? It's happening in my mind. How many of you have that kind of thing that happening in your mind? Confess now. Confess. <laughs> How many of you have that kind of thing happening in your mind? Just, okay? So when it is happening, you, you will think you are thinking, it's Satan that is suggesting to you that ah, this girl was fine. Imagine kissing this girl. How you will feel? It will feel so good. That's a suggestion from Satan. So at that point, that was that's the voice of Satan speaking to you. Why? Because it is contrary to the word of God. Okay? <clears throat> Then when you hear that voice, something that tells you, thou shalt not forget. Thou shalt not, you should not, you just remember, you should not look up to a woman to, to lust after her. Then you just rise up. So that's the spirit of God now speaking to you. How do you know it's the spirit of God? Because it corresponds with the word of God. So the written word is what we used to check. It's what we used to check whether God is speaking to you. Or is Satan speaking to you? But in your mind, there are so many voices coming. Satan is speaking to your mind. God is also speaking to your mind, especially when you have the Holy Spirit. But how you will know the difference between the voice of God and the voice of Satan is to cross-check with the Word of God. And if it does not align with the Word of God, you throw it away. 